Hi boys and girls, today we're going to talk about punctuation marks. And those are the marks at the end of your sentences. You know, we always put a capital letter or an uppercase letter at the beginning of a sentence. But when you've finished your thought, you need to have a mark at the end of your sentence telling the reader that's a complete thought. There are three different types of punctuation marks. The first one is just the dot. Do you remember what that's called? That's the period. That's the one we use most of the time. The second punctuation mark looks like this. And that is the question mark. This is used when you are asking a question. The sentence requires an answer. And do you remember the third punctuation mark? It's the line with the dot, and it's called an exclamation mark. This one we use when we are mad or angry or very excited. When you want to emphasize what you're saying. Now, I have three sentences. And we're going to see if we can find the correct punctuation mark for each sentence. All right. So I'm going to lay them out here. And you can see that I have a capital letter at the beginning of each of my sentences. I have a nice finger space between each word. But none of them have an ending mark or a punctuation mark. So let's read the sentences. My cat is so adorable. The second one says, do you like my cat? And the bottom one says, my cat is asleep. All right, think in your mind where you think each of the punctuation marks go with each sentence, and then I will see if you got it right. Okay, let's start at the top and listen to my words. My cat is so adorable. Which mark do you think goes at that sentence? If you chose the exclamation point, you are correct. All right, the second sentence says, Do you like my cat? What is interesting about that sentence? You have to give me an answer. You have to say yes or no. So I am asking a what? A question, right? So that gets the question mark. Do you like my cat? And that leaves the last one to go with, my cat is asleep. That is a statement. It's just telling you a piece of information. It gets the period. All right. So you, this is something you could practice at home. You could make three uh, punctuation marks and then mom or dad could add, say some sentences and you could hold up the end mark and see if you get the correct answer. So exclamation point, exclamation mark is if you're excited or mad or angry. The question mark is if you're asking a question. And the period is for a statement where you are just giving a piece of information. All right, you have two or three sheets in your packet that are you're going to decide, does it need a question mark? Does it need an exclamation mark? Does it need a period? So enjoy doing those. And remember I said you could make little signs and have mom and dad say sentences and you could practice. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on punctuation. 
See you next time. Bye-bye.